Hi guys, it's Eric, your science teacher. I am coming to you today from Assateague Island National Seashore. This national seashore is on the eastern coast of the United States in the state of Maryland. And behind me is the Atlantic Ocean. We're here early in the morning. And I think the sun is about to rise. And as the sun rises up out of the ocean, over those clouds right behind us, we are hoping to see something very, very special. That special thing is called a solar eclipse. Let's take a look and see how a solar eclipse works. A solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth. At first, the low clouds blocked the sun as it was rising out over the ocean. But as I looked carefully, I think I could see little bits of the sun peeking out from between the clouds. Even though it was behind the clouds. We could see it rising bit by bit by bit until we could almost be totally sure that yes, this was the sun. The sunrise was very pretty and the sun looked a lot like the sun I had seen before. But as the sun rose higher, I could see that part of it was missing. The missing part of the sun is actually the dark side of the moon. So the dark that we see is the dark side of the moon as the moon passes in front of the sun. As the moon moves past the sun, the moon blocks less and less of the sun until after several minutes The moon no longer blocks the sun, and the sun returns to normal. Now let's take a closer look to see what was happening. Here is a classroom model showing the eclipse and how it was filmed. At first, our model sun is so bright that we can't see the moon, and we don't notice that the moon is blocking some of the sun.
by adjusting the camera, less light from the model sun is allowed into the camera, thus making the sun and the moon more clearly visible. As our model moon orbits the Earth, it passes between the Earth and the Sun. When the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun, some of the Sun's light is blocked causing the sun to appear darker as the moon passes by. When the sun's light is blocked by the moon, we call this a solar eclipse. When the moon blocks the sun completely, we call it a full solar eclipse. When the moon blocks some but not all of the sun, like it did on November 3rd, we call this a partial solar eclipse.
front of the sun, creating a dark spot or a shadow on the sun, making what we know 